Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My, my name is Anna and today we're going to be doing the part 2, if you will, of touring my bookshelf. It's time y'all, it's time. So starting off here, we got this bookshelf over here. I did a whole tour, like organizing, so the link will be down below if you want to check that out. So now, let's just show off what I have and we'll go from there. First up, I don't have so I don't have a chair, so excuse excuse my shortness. But first up, we have Art of Quang Babel, Taste of Shadows by Aubrey Brancroft. This is like a vampire tale story, if you will. We have The Star of the Sea by Evan Morgenstern, The Last Samurai by Kirsten Sicarelli. I have like the Hush Hush Sanger, so we got Finale, Silence, Hush Hush, and Crescendo is right down there because I just ran out of room. And those are all from Becca Fitzpatrick. Up here I have shown off my favorite book cover and my favorite book. This is Hunting Finn's Dracula. I think it's the third book. No, I'm pretty sure it's the second book in the Carrie Meniscalco series of Stalking Jack the Ripper. I really love that one. I think it's by far the best, the best book that she had written. Next one is The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. Romanov by Nadine Brandes. Catching Fire by Susan Collins. I don't know why I said Collins. We have Iron Ridder by Zeran J. Shell. And we have Echoes of the Empire by Morgan Rhodes. Next up is 10,000 of 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Hanno. We have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. The sequel Realm of, Realm of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. We have The Inheritance of Alcondria Divinia by Zoranio Cordonova. As you can see, this book has been loved. She has been loved by so many people. As you can see, by the spine, I learned the hard way not to let people borrow your books. But this is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. It's my childhood. The story that it's why I got into reading because of her. And we have Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. We have Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Nagan. We have Spectacle by Joni Lynn Zodrick. We have uh, Kingdom of the Fear by Kerry Maniscalco. And we have The Giant one. I'm sorry, I don't want to take it out, but it's The Devil's Teeth by Lisa Maxwell. Okay, moving on to my green, yellow, orangey shelf, if you will. We have Stalking Jack, Jack the Ripper by Carrie Minskalko. We have A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Camilla. <laughs> Excuse the sticker. We have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I still need to read this sequel, but it is Ashes of Gold by JL. The first one was fantastic. It is Rings of Ebony, if you want to check it out. The Battle of Songs and Snakes by Susan Collins. And I actually want to get rid of this one because I hated it. I don't know why I didn't get rid of it. So there we go. So now we have one more room here. We have the Cur um, Curse of the Spectre Queen by Jenny Elder Monk. The Sun Bear Tribes by Aiden Thomas. We have The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Ali. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. We have Mysteries of Thorn Manor by Margaret Rogerson. And we have this beautiful cover. It kind of reminds me of Garden of Eden. I think that's what they're called in the Bible. But it's so beautiful. So we have, this is the third book, I believe, the final book. It's Unbreakable by Sarah Ella. Hall of, Sm uh, Hall of Smoke by H. M. Long. The Fairy Path by Fluman Jones. The Gentleman Guide to Rise of Virgin by Mackenzie Lee. I love this series so much, it's hilarious. We have This Warming Kingdom by Ta Tahiri Muffy. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And we have Sisters of the Snakes by Serena and Sasha Nanua. We have, my next one is The Enchanting Quest by Fleming Jones. Star Daughter by Shinventa Takara. Takarenge. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. A Touch of Gold by Annie Sylvia. This is the King Mira's retail. Pandora by Susan Stokes Chapman. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. And I do not want to take these out because they're way too heavy to carry, but this is the Priory of the Ormetry and A Day of Fall and Night by Samantha Shannon. This is the first book. I think it's a standalone. 
And then this is the prequel of this book. So, moving on to my blue purpley shelf. So up next, we have To Sleep in the Sea of Stars by pa Christopher, Christopher Paolini. I remember he writing Aragon, was it? So I actually never read the books, but who you knows how it is. Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. Ever Curse by Corianne Haydu. The Devouring Grave by Christine Lynn Hardeman. House of Salt and Soul by Evelyn Craig. I'm so happy she's coming out with a sequel next year, I think it is. It is like the sequel to this book, which is a retell of The Twelve Dancing Princesses. It's creepy, it's horror, it's scary, I love it. All the Stars and Thief by Adeline Grace. Fox by Nadine Brandes. Something just sucked? I don't know what that is. And again, sorry for that. I don't know, I just like to keep things. The Fantastic Beaks and, Where and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Dreams Lying Beneath by Rebecca Ross. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Strange Legima by Lady Taylor. And then again, my favorite book of the of of all of this uh, books that I have. And this is my favorite cover, so this is the second book, I believe. It's Unraveling by Sarah Ella. We have Alessand's Inventions by Victoria Lee. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. A Soul of the Sword, Julie Kangawa. I think this is the second book in the Shadow of the Fox trilogy. Ghost... Oh my god. <laughs> I almost dropped my box. Ghost of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. And The Fire and the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. Okay, so A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. So you bought the stickers. Blood Like Magic by Liz Lil. Miss Ellie Sanbury. My Imaginary Mary by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Not Johnny Benson. Wild Wild Seen Reach by Martin Dumas. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. And again, my childhood book, Ink, Ink Death by Cornelia Fogg. They actually have a movie of Ink Heart, but not the other two, so I don't know how to feel about the movie. I think it was alright, but I don't know how to feel about it. So moving on to my under blue shelf. To, so these are like novellas, I believe. Uh, Last Violet Call um, by Chloe Gaunt is like short stories. There is two, two books in here. So in this foul murderer, a foul thing. As you can see, I have not taken out of the packages. But this is what it is. So you can pause and read it if you like. Blood Like Fate, Lisla by Lisla Sandberg. This is a sequel. And the finale of Blood Like Magic. Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. Uh, I love this TV series. I was so sad when it finished. And that's Once Upon a Time, We Awakened. I don't know who this is from, but this is what it is. I love that series. I was so sad when it was finished. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. To Kill the Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. Lost in the Book, Beauty and the Beast, Lost in the Book by Jennifer Donnelly. The Last Tale of the Flower by Mother Shani Koshki. I'm sorry to say that wrong. This book was a weird book. <laughs> then Cats and German by Francesa Zadia. I honestly don't know how to feel about the book. We have Wishress by Nadine Brandes. And again, my f childhood. Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk. The Invisible Library by Geneva Kongman. Beanie and the Beast. That's what it is. It's basically like the story of the Beanie and the Beast. I think it's based off the movie Beanie and the Beast, the remake one, live action, which sucked, but whatever. Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. Empress of All Seasons by Emmy Jean. I really love this book too. And we have The Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. And I still have not watched the movie, the last movie of The Hunger Games. I think by far, by far the, um, the second movie, Catching Fire, is by far the best one. But again, we have my favorite book, my favorite book cover, pretty. Dawn of the Moon Gardens by Sue Lin Tan. So this is, these two books are in my languages, so this is basically, I believe it's the third book of The Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. So I forgot what that book was. And this is also in my language by Daria Desombra Mashni Gren. So something to do with Russian and all that. I am not Russian, but I am something similar. 
The Wonderland Trials by Sarah Ella, The Song That Moves the Sun by Anna Bright, and we have The Empire of Gold by Eze Shakaborty. We have Gods of Jane and Shadow by Celia Morano Garcia, The Lady's Guide to Pet Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee, and Blemished by Sarah Ella. This is the first book in the Unblemished trilogy. The Perfumist of Patties by Alka Joshi. Okay, moving on to my pink and white. So we've got the Charmed Return by Flu by Fluvin Jones. So we got these two books, and that is. So we have these two books, and that is a Magic Steeped in Poison and a Ven Venom, Dark and So Dark and Sweet by Judy A. Lynn. These are both duology. I love. I actually like more of the second book than the first one. I still have not read this book, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston, The Lost Queen by Fleming Jones, and of course, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I think we are going to shake this head for this one. Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare, because why not? I love Romeo and Juliet. So again, my favorite book, and that's Final Lady of Fortune by Chloe Gong, The Fountains of Silence by The Fountains of Silence by Onuta Septis, and Chantaine by Gita Trellis. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Ecstasia by Claire Legrand, Sarah Ella the Coral by Sarah Ella, The Language of Thorns by Leah Bundelgo, Luck of Titanic by Stacey Lee, Parasite, Parasite by Hitoshi Iwaki, Heart of the Sun Warrior by Solon Tan, and this is the this is the sequel to the first book, Dawn of the Moon Goddess, The Reading List by Sarah Nisha Adams, The Gown by The Gown by Jennifer Robson, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie Oh, The Perry Seamstress by Natasha Lester. The Poppy World by Anna Kwong. This was so brutal to me, oh my god. I still need to read this book. Ace of Spades by Frada Abik Ianmin. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Atlas by Marissa Mayer. The Red Palace by June Hun. And, and these are all my books, don't make me take them out. So we got all these Batgirls and Batman. We also have Supergirl. So I really like this one actually, so the Batgirl, the Von Darkest Reflection, and then we got The Flash, of course, this made me cry like crazy, Crisis on Infinite Earths, and so we also have The Flash, Flashpoint, and I mean, I got my two Star Girl, so Volume 1, Volume 2, I wish there was more Star Girl comics, let me know if there is, I would love fun, she's my favorite Teen Titan next to Raven. So we also got another Batgirl, and then these are just my mangas, so, uh, okay Zelda, I need to move you. So these are all my mangas of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, this is all Twilight Princess, I'm still missing one more, I think there is one more. This is Kingdom of the H Kingdom Heart, Final Mix, and this is, um, like, basically Hyrule Historia, so like all the history of Hyrule and Zelda. And all that stuff, and it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at all these drawings. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, yeah. So, this is, I do like to have my astrology. So, if you're interested, I think I have Gemini and my sun rising, I think, but I am a Leo. So, I think I have my Gemini sun rising. And then, this is. Ah! My goodness! So in this Paris in blue, this is just a photography and all the pretty books. Oh my gosh, look at it. And of course we have Captain America, which is just basically an encyclopedia of Captain America, basically. Yeah, the ultimate guide to the first Avenger. This is my what my sister bought me. Myths and Legends about Greek mythology. And um, yeah, so these are more mangas that I have from Legend of Zelda. So I have like Ocarina of Time, Volume 1 and 2, The Armor Call of Souls, A Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, Phantom Hourglass, Armor Call of Ages, and Four Swords, Volume 1 and 2. And these are also the books that come out with there. So this is Clemenstra by Con Constanzana Cassetti. I'm sorry, this is Edward. And this is what I mentioned about the Hush Hush Sanger, Hunger Games, Wolf Spell by Anna Stendhal. So moving on here, this is my last pile. And this is all my manga as well. So I have like Sailor Moon, Phantom Thief Sean. I love this manga so much. It's really dark. It's like she's fighting demons and all that stuff. But it's really sad. It's also an anime. 
So I really do like that as well. So I love the anime and the manga, so I do recommend if you want like anything magical girl genre, I do recommend this book. I think you guys will love it. And I have to cut off because my camera's g oh wait no. So then I have Kiss of the Most Princesses. I have mostly all volumes. I have up to six volumes. So I don't know, this is it's just really interesting. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. So yeah, it's just a really interesting manga. So this is what they look like, they're so pretty. He's really, really cute. I do love him. And we got Takuya Mimi, Omni Buzz. I don't know how to feel about- I'm so sorry. I don't know how to feel about the um, the Takuya Mimi. I think- I just think it's a weird anime. That's all I have to say. It's just a weird anime. I don't know how to feel about it. Okay, hi guys. So I'm actually back at my parents' house. And if you can hear the machine, that's just the washing machine. But these are the remaining books that I have, so to complete it off, I'm going to show you what I have in here. Song of Sliver, Flame Like Night by Emily Renzel. A Luminous Weight by Kaylee Smith. Langstage by Linda Clipstone. Donna Tut, The Secret History. Sensational and Joni Lynn Zondra. A Ramso, Bold and Deadly by Bridget Camilla. Like the Zytha by Joanne He. Firekeeper's Daughter, Angeline Bully. Jade File Gold by June C.L. Tan, Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha again, and Emily's Wild Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett, Thoughts of Fairies by Elizabeth Hobbs, Rise of the Vicious Princess by C.J. Red Wine, Respertine by Margaret Rogerson, Woman Sarah J. Mass, The Only Book I Will Ever Keep because I actually like it, Fairy Will I Die by Sean Souls, Small Fairies by Erin A. Craig, she is also the author of House of Salt and Silver. In a Garden Burning Gold, Lovely Powers. Phantom Heart by Kelly Craig. This is the Retail of Phantom of the Elder. Daughters of the Dawn by Serena and Sasha Nanua. The sequel to End the Finale of Sisters of the Snakes. Soul of the Deep by Natasha Bowen. And the sequel and finale of Skin of the Sea. So I. And that's all of the books that I have. And we made it to the end! Oh my gosh! So this is gonna be a long video. It's probably won't reach 30 mark, and all honestly, all in the camera will say, Yeah, you're gonna reach 30 mark soon. But anyway, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time you post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>